Hey guys, Ewan here. So we are one day out of Indie Pro and we have Dwayne Walker with his physique update. We're gonna see his entire physique basically in a moment, but this is the most muscular that he posted. It looks really good. Now, his legs might seem a little downsized, not really uh, symmetrical, not really proportionate to his upper body, and there are some other weaknesses you can see, but he looks better on the stage usually. So last year, he was doing Tampa Pro, where he took third. I mean, he was only beaten by Ian Valier and Hunter Labrada, and those guys are 7 and 8 at the Mr. Olympia. So you get the idea of how good of a bodybuilder uh, Dwayne Walker is, and he was really talked about a lot as one of the biggest potential in the industry right now. So, it's been one year since that show, he also did New York Pro where he placed 9th, so that wasn't really a great result for him, but it doesn't really matter, what matters is what he looks like right now, and this is his physique right now, so his muscle really does look alive, like he has the maturity, he has the deep lines, the cuts, he looks pretty lean, I think those glutes could be a little bit more shredded and the legs could be fuller and overall he could be bigger, the conditioning from the front, from the sides, does look very good, the skin looks very thin, and he does have very aesthetic lines, very very much alive muscle, and with his small waist, I believe he can do a big damage. Can he win the show? This is what he looks like on stage, much better, right, when he's on. And he says it himself, this was his best, this is Tampa Pro where he took third, and when he's really, I mean, when he's really spot on, like he's right here, he does look very good, he does have really good genetics, I mean, small waist, really small waist, really small joints, very symmetrical, I mean, take a look at those pecs, for example, the chest looks really symmetrical, the abs too, the legs as well, he has the symmetry, he has the proportions, he has the lines, he has the right structure, he pretty much has enough muscle to win Indie Pro against... Blessing, yeah, I can see him beating Blessing, but to beat Justin Rodriguez, not very likely, not very likely, Justin is just a different animal, he's just much bigger. We still have to see these guys on stage, because since the last time they competed, the changes have occurred, so it's gonna be a different game, but we'll see, I mean, as for now, I could see Dwayne Walker win the Indie Pro, I could see Blessing as well, but most likely I have Justin Rodriguez winning it. Unfortunately, we don't have a proper physique update of Justin Rodriguez at one day out, but we do have this uh, this photo of his leg that he posted on his story, and you can get the idea of his level of conditioning. I mean, you can get the idea that he is conditioned, but I don't know how shredded his glutes are, or how, how full he looks, how spot on is he, like, did he peak perfectly, did he get rid of all the fat, I don't know that. I mean, he has the veins on his quads, and his calves look pretty ripped, I mean, he, he, his skin looks very thin, but you can't really read too much from this one photo, we still have to see a full physique update, we'll probably see it, uh, maybe even a night before the show, he tends to do that in a hotel room, I hope so, but if not, then tomorrow, tomorrow is the show, so we don't have to wait too much to see what his physique look like, and to see what he's gonna do at this show. As far as blessing a body, we do have this photo of his legs that I talked about in my previous video, and there is another video I'm gonna show you in a moment, but here, again, I mean, his legs look a little bit stringy, a little bit too small, but not smaller than Dwayne Walker's, probably smaller than Justin Rodriguez, but uh, the, the details, details look very good, and some, sometimes Justin Rodriguez doesn't really have the best details, so it seems like Blessing is gonna have pretty good details, I just hope the size is not gonna be a problem, but he does have uh, this lean look, very, very dry and depleted look, hopefully after he carbs up heavily, he will look much bigger and fuller, but as for now, is he a top threat to the Indie, indie, indie Pro title? For sure, yeah, top three for sure, prob I mean, not probably, but yeah, I would say most likely second spot. And he also posted this video, I don't know how recent this is, I don't think he would be in the gym a day out of a show, this is usually when bodybuilders are resting, not training, but maybe he's doing like a little pump workout just to get the blood circulating through the body, so the, the nutrients are actually getting pumped into the muscle, some, some coaches like to do that, uh, they, they give uh, the, the athletes a little uh, full body workout before the show, so the carbs are actually getting into the muscle, so they get a, li a nice pump, because this is obviously just pumping up, he's not really training here, and he does look pretty good, I mean, the back does look pretty thick and pretty ripped, like, when the back looks this, this lean, that means he's gonna bring a good level of conditioning on that stage, and this is gonna be probably the first time we saw Blessing this ripped. And that's gonna mean business. Is he gonna win the Indie Pro? What do you think? You tell me down below. But I still do have Justin winning that show. But it might be a blessing. It might be a blessing.
All right, enough about the Indie Pro. Now let's talk about the offseason, guys. And we have Regan Grimes, who says he is going to start his prep for the Mr. Olympia in four weeks. How is he going to compete in the Mr. Olympia if he wasn't in top five? Well, him and James Hollingshead both won pro shows after the Mr. Olympia, which were qualifiers for the next year's 2021 Mr. Olympia. So even though he was out of top five, he is qualified. So he's going to start his prep in four weeks. And apparently it seems like that's gonna be his only shot that he's gonna do. And this does look like a really good starting point. He looks really big and full and very lean too. Last year he did a bunch of shows, like Romania Pro that he won, that he qualified for the Mr. Olympia by winning, also Spain Pro, British Grand Prix right here where he lost to James Hollingshead where he was second. And this was probably Regan's best package to date. He was lean, he was big, he peaked perfectly basically, and that's the reason why he wasn't able to look this good, to, to peak perfectly again for the Mr. Olympia. At the Mr. Olympia stage he did try his best to look fresh, but it just showed. He was tired, he looked washed up basically from doing all those shows, from beating up his body the entire year. Of course you cannot look perfect in the end of the year. So here you can see what he looks like and maybe like he could add some more mass to his quads and overall he can get bigger. But he's not a small guy, he's a big guy. He's as he says 280 in the off season right now. So what he really needs is the details. Like he needs those deep cuts. Because I mean especially here when he was not really on, when he was uh, washed up as I said, tired. He didn't really have the deep, the deep cuts, the striations, the muscle looked dead in a sense and not very hard, not popping, not grain, nothing like that, so that's why he didn't really do that well at the Mr. Olympia, and I'm pretty sure this year he's gonna do much better, because he's gonna prep for the, for the entire year only for one show, he's gonna come fresh. And now, there's also his style of training, he's doing a lot of, a lot of volume, a lot of pump work, and usually those guys don't really have the deepest cuts, you know, they don't really have that grainy muscle that the guys who lift very heavy have, but still, he has the, the muscle, he has the symmetry, he has the proportions, the lines, everything, the structure is there, he just needs to be a little bit more grainy, which will come over time with maturity, I believe, and also with being able to rest up your body and come fresh into the show. Last year he was lucky enough to stand next to Phil Heath in a lineup, uh, or was he cursed with that, because it really showed all of his weaknesses. So you can see the difference in the arm size, in the shoulders, in the chest, in the legs, and everything. Like, oh, not only not in the stomach, in the midsection area, everything else, Phil Heath smokes him. So he needs to work on adding more, more muscle, basically, and more maturity, and stuff like that. But it will come with time, I mean, uh, he's like 20... 7, 28 right now, he's a very young bodybuilder and he has a bright future ahead of him. So again, this is him in the offseason, 280, let's wait and see what's gonna happen in 24 weeks, is he gonna look better than last year and how well will he do at this year's Mr. Olympia? Nick Walker, one week out of New York Pro, looks absolutely shredded. And it looks like he decided to create the best hamstrings in the world or in the history of bodybuilding, really. And when you combine these crazy genetics that he has and this crazy work ethic, and I mean, hitting hamstrings so much and so hard, like he, uh, I mean, that's like all he posts, basically, his hamstring workouts. And he's really crushing those hamstrings. And it shows, like, look at the hamstrings. I mean, look at how big they are. So he really grew them. And when he got shredded now, you can see all the details, all the cuts and they look bigger even than before, so he basically trimmed down all the fat and the water and he looks bigger, he looks more impressive now, way more impressive, which is the point of bodybuilding, so he's doing very well, and uh, in no likeliness he's gonna win the New York Pro, it seems like it, he seems to be the most dominant bodybuilder there, so here, look at the hamstrings, how much they're popping, like, that's not normal, uh, very few bodybuilders had this, so yeah, very good hamstrings, so look at his legs right here from the side, look at this, Really, really impressive side leg. The hamstrings are just dropping like crazy and he got really conditioned. The vascularity looks pretty crazy too and yeah, he has very cons veins but it doesn't really matter. I mean, he got really peeled. Like, he looks skinless. Look at this. So I'm sure he's suffering really hard right now and he, I, it seems like he really wants that title more than anybody else in the lineup. And I do think he's gonna take it. What do you guys think? Alright, next we have William Bonek with a physique update, well, maybe I should say just a body update because he's not really a, in a bodybuilding pose or anything like that, he's just laying there in bed with, I believe, his daughter that I decided to crop out, but you can see what William Bonek's physique looks like right now, I mean, even though he's not really flexing, you can see the, 
the level of conditioning, the body fat percent, and the level of the size. Now his arms, they will probably never lose size because in my opinion they are filled with, with sintel, with oil. And they, they don't look really natural, I mean those biceps, I mean even now when he's downsized the biceps are just bulging like crazy. In all the positions really, whichever position he puts his arms in, the, the biceps are just bulging and triceps also look unnatural. So, I mean, we can argue with this, we can go back and forth, I talked about this in my previous videos, I do, I do think that most likely he stuffed his, uh, his arms with some kind of sight enhancement oil. And you can see his chest here, I mean, it looks much flatter than his arms, right? Yeah, I mean, the chest looks really flat, look at that left back right there, I mean, it's basically melted. So, I mean, he's definitely off the cycle, he's taking some time off of everything probably, and he has 24 weeks to start his Mr. Olympia prep, he is qualified, because he was in top 5, he was 5th, and I mean, he's kind of starting to go down with the placements, maybe he's gonna reti retire this year, finally, it may happen, maybe, maybe, maybe he will just come back and look better than ever, fresher than ever, I don't know, we'll see, but it seems like ever, uh, ever since he uh, parted his ways with his coach, Neil Hill, I mean, his career started going downhill, and he had great success with Neil, so he probably should have kept working with him, but it is what it is now, let's wait and see what William Bonac is up to, which show he's gonna do, is he gonna compete again, and what his future plans are, we don't know, and, but we know what his physique looks like uh, right now, at least, and this is it, you tell me what you think. Next up we have Jeremy Buendia, who basically retired from bodybuilding community, from men's physique, he was Mr. Olympian men's physique for 4 years in a row, and now he's very often posting photos of himself, of his physique, because he, uh, like, he lost all of his gains basically, he had some surgeries and now he's back trying to regain what he lost, and he's posing in bodybuilding poses all the time, so he probably decided, I mean this is just my impression, he decided to quit on men's physique, and just try to recreate his physique, maybe compete in a classic physique division, or not even compete at all, but he loves to pose like a bodybuilder, like, he always loved to do most muscular shot and everything like that, and he competed as a bodybuilder at first, so he decided to do men's physique because it was good for him, but I don't think he really loved it, ever, uh, in, in his heart, I think, I think he argued with the people about men's physique because he also was insecure about it, like, he didn't really think it was a good division for him, so maybe now he's gonna try and regain all the size that he lost, with that pack there it might be challenging, but he might try and do classic physique, and he might do well, I mean he was a very dominant man's physique Mr. Olympia, and if he was so dominant to win Mr. Olympia in man's physique for 4 years in a row, if he can get his, uh, uh, his old shape back and just progress a little bit more, get a little bit bigger, fuller, rounder, uh, especially the legs, his legs look good right now, if he can do that, he can do very well in classic, we'll see what's gonna happen, but him posting photos like this, side chest and all the other bodybuilding poses, it might, it makes me assume things, like he's gonna do classic, what do you think? Alright, so finally we have an update of Rich Gaspari, who was a rival of Lila Brada, and after seeing what Lila Brada looks like, I'm really surprised that uh, Rich looks like this. I thought he was kind of a perfectionist, the same way Lila Brada is, so I would expect him to be in a great shape, I mean, if you, look at, if you look at his arms, his arms don't look fat, like he looks lean, but the stomach, it's kind of bulging too much, and what I found the most interesting here is his, 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 his chest, right, do you see it, I mean, is this just him getting fat, because he doesn't really look fat, or is this just some horrible case of gynecomastia? Maybe something happened after all the years of using uh, gear, something finally happened. It didn't happen through his career, but maybe later, I mean, they grew. <laughs> they grew because it looks like he has two big apples under his shirt. It doesn't look like just soggy muscle, right? It doesn't look like he melted or, or that he got a little fat. No, it looks like, well, gyno. I mean, I showed this to my friend and I asked him, is this just fat? What do you think? What do you see? He said that he just got a little lazy, maybe he got a little fat, but I just see a horrible case of gyno, I mean, the, 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 the tits are just too bulging, it doesn't look normal, not for a, for a man, for a male, so whatever you guys think, tell me down below, maybe I'm tripping, maybe they're not as big as I'm seeing them, but those look pretty big, yeah, yeah I think it's, a, it's just some weird case of gyno, that happened, like, delayed gyno, or whatever, I don't know, <laughs> let's name it that, maybe the experts will know what happened here, but it does look off for sure, 
What do you think? Tell me down below in the comment section. Let's uh, let's talk about this. Let's discuss. And whatever part of this video you found interesting, tell me about that in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe, guys, for more videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.